What's up everyone? Today guys, we're gonna talk about a special topic that is kind of important for me. My name is Zonabra by the way. And today we're gonna talk about Phantom Lord coming back to the gaming world. He today released a statement uh, that I wanna talk about in a very long video. So please sit back, relax, and see what the hell is going on with this guy. To start with guys, Phantom Lord, if you don't know the story, he was a very famous streamer. He's one of the OG, OG streamer that used to stream on On3DTV. And he has been known to play Carthus, Carthus in League of Legends. And he has been famous, I want to say, uh, to play CSGO and to do a lot of gambling and opening of cases videos on his YouTube channel, reaching like millions of views and just an overall amazing popularity. After a few years and a few months of doing this, uh, Richard Lewis, which is a podcaster, released a hack of his Skype uh, session showing that actually Fenelon was the owner of a gambling website where he used to cheat the odds. He used to eligibly cheat the odds to win more skins and to tell his fans, Oh my god, guys, I won $50,000 worth of knife. This is amazing. This website is super cool. Let me tell you about this uh, gambling website I just found out. Yay. So that just happened and basically one year ago Phantom Lord was exposed, accused, a lot of videos were, were coming down. Um, H3H3 made an amazing video about overall the shadiness, the shadiness of the business around skins and CSGO and how the fact that kids could gamble them and just spend their parents money on some shit like that. And Phantom Lord decided to vanish, which is a very smart move, uh, thinking that the story will just fade away, and that he will just come back a year after, saying, hey, what's up, guys? I'm sorry for what I did. Oh, my God, let's go to stream. Please subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. The same shit over and again. The thing is that this video that he posted is very interesting, and I want to analyze it with you because, well, things are fucked up. I'm going to be honest with you. Things are pretty fucked up in today's world, and I hate it. I hate it when YouTubers fuck up, fuck people over, do bad things to a community that is amazing, and just come back, say sorry, and keep 50% of the people that left. It's just a way of growth that I hate so much, but it's just people like drama, people like attention, and it's just what's going to happen again. Phantom Lord is going to get bigger from this, and I just... I still want to do this video because I think it's important for me to express myself on this case. I I wouldn't do it if I wasn't thinking it's important. So the video guy starts with his little doggy. Oh my god, it's so cute! No, no, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> okay, it starts with a little dog, his little puppy, just to soothe your emotional like because you watch you watch the video, you're angry. You're like, what the fuck he's gonna say? What the fuck are you gonna say? Whatever you say, you're a piece of shit. Oh, and he brings you to the little dog just to calm you down a little bit, to warm your little heart. I don't buy that shit. This is like emotional manipulation. It's like, there's tons of YouTubers doing that. It's okay. Like, it's all good. I think another YouTuber did that with another puppy or cat. It's all good. It soothes the emotional and it just calms down people and it works. It works for many, many people. It just doesn't work for me. I just want to tell you that. After that, guys, he started talking about how his community are savages like and it's taken a year because you guys are fucking savage no no like seriously let, let me let me let me just compliment you guys out there seriously you guys got fucking skills man when it comes to being angry and like making someone feel like shit like fuck me i feel like my my i feel like i'm forming a vagina like i'm just as a sociopath that he could be or he might be he starts to put himself as the victim. He's almost like, oh my god, you guys are savages. You made me almost grow a vagina over this because, well, you obviously very mad at me for a reason. What? What are you saying, dude? Do you even know what you did or do you know what you've been accused of? You've been accused of gambling falsely, like to cheat a gambling website, literally to be a scam artist and to allow kids to gamble on your website that is gambling. That is only something that he's being accused of by community. There's not actually a lawsuit. I'm not accusing him of doing this because I have no proof. I don't know what actually happened. I don't know the actual truth. And Phantom Lord says clearly in his video that he clearly cannot say shit because, well, I'm pretty sure he has a lawyer and his lawyer told him, just shut the fuck up for a whole year. Let this thing fade away. 
right now nobody is suing us, so there's no need to say anything to anyone. Let's just chill and go back to your thing. Leaving for a whole year is very, very smart move from him. It just lets people calm down, go to other drama, go... Like, attention will go somewhere else. It's okay, he doesn't need attention, it will just go somewhere else. And then his videos goes on and on about how it was not his fault. He's like, oh my god, fucking Gavin, bro. Oh my god, fucking Gavin had a gun to my head. I had to cheat the system and steal people's money to buy an R8. Oh, fucking Gavin, bro. Like, uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm, like, I'm raging to that. Like, wow. You know, things just took a weird turn. Fucking Gavin. But that's not me. And I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry where things ended up. And it's just like, okay, I'm like, fuck, I'm like, that's fucked up, dude. The least I could, ex like, the least I could expect is, like, a sincere apology. If he was like, hey, guys, I'm Phantom Lord. I fucked up, okay? I'm sorry for every penny I stole from people. I'm so sorry. But I deeply apologize and I want to move forward. That would have been enough. That would have been, okay, it's chill, bro. For me, it's just that he says he's sorry, but then he proceeds to say, I'm sorry, things just took a wrong turn, uh, but this is not me. Like some sort of, he's like a, some sort of like a drug addict where he got addicted to drug and then he came clean and then he went back to drugs. It, it is a weird statement to say things took a wrong turn, but it's not me. I don't know, it feels like a drug addict statement more than a scam artist statement. That's kind of weird, right? So... I mean, whatever, like, his video goes on to say that his communities are savages, and that they're pretty mad, and that if we're angry, we can mail him uh, something at his pillbox, send him a letter, tell him to fuck off, or just send him a dildo, whatever the fuck he said, but the whole video is kind of a joke. Like, sincerely, like, Phantom Lord, if you ever watch this video, why aren't you apologizing for something that, like, I don't know, you did, but for something that you know you did or you did not. And... I don't know, man. It's just like, I've been a fan for so long of you, man. I've been subscribed. I've donated money to you. I, I was a general, like, viewer. And I don't know. I used to be, like, I used to love your stream from own 3 dtv where you play Carthus in Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3 of League of Legends. And, and you fuck up. You fuck up, and you come back, and you don't fix it. That, I think, is kind of fucked up. And then you do a stream on YouTube Gaming, and you talk about your skydiving and your travel adventures where you spend money and where your life was amazing and you were just chilling. I don't know, man. I feel like justice hasn't been done. But, you know, I respect the American justice system. If nobody pressed charges, if nobody was suing, um, it's just nothing, like, there's nothing wrong you did, I guess. But there is some kind of dispute from Twitch uh, apparently with him, and that's why he's not streaming on Twitch, but goes to YouTube Gaming. But, one thing I want to talk about is, I want to talk to you, the fans. I, I really don't care about Phantom Lord. This is just a video he made that I want to talk about, but I genuinely want to talk to you, the fans. You guys are amazing and generous and kind and supportive to a lot of content creators out there. Like, a lot of content creators depend on you, on your money, on your generosity, and just all your overall emotional and just support in general. I know that some of you guys are fanboying this guy so hard that you're going to go back to his arms, you're going to donate, you're going to take your mom's credit card, you're going to donate, you're going to want to get his attention, you're going to start tweeting at him, I love you, I miss you, I miss that, I miss you, whatever. Whatever you're going to do, like, whatever you're going to do, never forget what he could be doing in the future because these things happen once and if the opportunity comes back to him from another game from another loophole from another this this and that he will do it again because the amount of money he did without any consequences is insane guys he made a shit ton of money he is extremely rich right now and he made this money in such a short time of period that is just worth it for him. Right now, a lot of people hate him, but a lot of people still love him, and the money is still in his account. The skins are still in his account. Like, all that shit, is, he still has them. He still has the money. The Audi R8 is parked in the garage. He's good. He's chilling. So, 
to the fans, to the old fans, to the new fans, just be careful because, well, I'm not accusing him of doing anything wrong because of lack of proof, but I'm just assuming stuff. I'm just saying that could have happened. It could have been true. The accusation might be true. Maybe he faked the gambling website. Maybe he was a piece of shit. I don't have the proof. I can't tell you he's a piece of shit. He might be a piece of shit. And if he was a piece of shit, he might do it again. So please be careful with your money, guys. Make sure you support creators that you actually love and want to support. Uh, and support people who deserve it. I don't think he deserves it, but that's just my personal opinion. It was a special video. Phantom just released a statement that I had to talk about. Again, I used to be an amazing fan of his. I used to watch his stream. I used to laugh about his streams. I used to eat dinner in front of his streams. I used to do, like, I used to love his, I love to, I used to love his vibes. I love, I used to love his, like, getting mad, the flying headsets. All that shit was hilarious. He was an amazing content creator. But as he said, he took a wrong turn and things just got bad. I don't know what he meant by that. Maybe that he's, uh saying that he actually fucked up somehow but i hope you guys understand how the veto is fucked up and how emotionally manipulative he is by showing his dog by calling you savages by doing all that shit uh he was chilling for a year like he was literally chilling for a year watching youtube watching twitter skydiving going where the fuck he wants car racing with the eyes whatever he did he was chilling for a year so just know that and Know that when the opportunity will present itself again, I'm a hundred percent sure he will do it again because he has no he's he has no reason not to do it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. If you want to share your thoughts, if you want to if you want to talk about what you think about this whole Phantom Lord situation, please feel free uh, to comment down below or tweet at me at Zonabra. And Phantom Lord, if you watch this video, man, well. I, I sincerely hope that you don't do the mistakes that you might have done in the past. I sincerely hope you like you find a new community or whatever. I don't wish that for you. I think that better content creators deserve better than you. But I can't choose what people choose. So best luck for the future, man. And hopefully you won't fuck over your community. Because, yeah, I, I really hope you don't, man. Because it's what you did, what you might have done is fucked up. And it made me personally sad. It made me, it made me truly sad when you didn't apologize for it. Uh, and I'll, I won't forget. I really won't ever forget what happened. And and yeah. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you for the next one. Cheers. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone. Man, what a view Fall back as I'm coming through With my whole team, they coming too